Yay. Welcome to Love Vibe TV. I'm so glad you're here. I am Reverend Lunch Lady, also known as Macy, and I am your favorite YouTube unicorn wrangler. I know. Lunch Lady, wranglers, unicorns, what are you talking about? Anyway, we'll get it figured out eventually, but I'm glad you're here because I love to share with you my tips for the art and the consciousness of creating your life and whether it's a love relationship or more money, whatever you want here, you can get more of the good stuff. That's what I like to say. So today I wanted to share with you something that came up in a session that I did this morning when I was sharing the war of art. So I've been reading this to um, a group of entrepreneurs, but also in my super loved group, because this book is the book by Stephen Pressfield that really changed my life in the way that it alerted me around all of the sneaky ways that resistance can show up in our life. And for me, when I know something like that, you know, this knowledge is power, when I know that there are these sneaky ways, whether it's, um, the common ones, fear and doubt and confusion and the ways that we hold ourselves back from actually allowing ourselves to step into a greater life, then we can be looking out for that and actually be a leader of our life by saying, wow, okay, I know what that is now and I don't have to fall for it anymore. So I wanted to share one that was pivotal in the relationship space specifically, I see it a lot. I mean, that's just where I play a lot, but it applies to anything you're creating around healing. And there's a chapter in here called Resistance and Healing. And so I thought I would share a little bit about this because if you want to create the desires that are bubbling up within you, you need to know this. So in this chapter, there's a section. I'm just going to read a part out loud. It says, remember the part of us that we imagine needs healing. It is not the part we create from. That part is far deeper and stronger. The part that we create from can't be touched by anything that our parents did or society did. That part is unsullied, uncorrupted, soundproof, waterproof, and bulletproof. In fact, the more troubles we've got, the better and richer that part becomes. I love this because this really highlights that when we are, when we're aware of a desire, and I, I just see this a lot, like, oh, I really want to have a special person in my life. And then we have that desire. The key thing I like to share with people is your desire is the manifestation. But what happens instead is we go, oh, I have this desire. And then we can perceive that there are all these steps in between having the desire and actually maybe getting it. So that's the other thing. It's like, because we have the desire, we, it's easy to then question it. What I want you to know is you don't have to do that. If you have the desire, the desire is the manifestation of that which you want. So you are aware, oh, I'm really aware that I would love to have a person to share my life with. I would love to have someone who we could plan adventures with, where we could make meals together, where we can really see each other and listen to each other's days and all of that. Like if you have that kind of desire, it's like so deep and exciting for you. So much so that, you know, when you talk about it, you can feel that lightness. You don't need to doubt it. You don't need to doubt it at all. In fact, stop doubting it because that is the part that keeps you from it. The only thing that can keep you from actualizing that desire in the world is going into thinking that you need to figure it out, that you need to like doubt it, that there is a question, like maybe I'm not meant to have that, or maybe I'm not, it's not in the cards, or maybe, 
it, there aren't any good ones out there. Like when you go into that as if it's actually a step required, then you're taking yourself actually the furthest away from your desire that you can. The only thing you have to do is go, wow, that desire is here. And just know it's here and know that whatever you know about that is the proof you need to have it. So this book in the um, part about the resistance is interesting because the resistance through healing, how many times have we said, oh, well, I probably need to take more courses or I probably need to heal more of my past or I probably need more therapy or I probably need more of this or that before I can even honor this desire. Well, you absolutely can choose any of those things. And I'm not saying not to do that. But what I am aware of is that sometimes we can go in to avoid the desire or neglect the desire because we are putting more focus on, well, I can't have it until or you know, I probably can't have it. I'm going to have to figure out how to ma manipulate it so that I can have it and like do all these kind of gymnastics of what Stephen Pressfield would call is resistance. So when you know that, so this is what I love it from this chapter. So he continues to say, resistance knows that the more psychic energy we expend dredging and redredging the tired, boring injustices of our personal lives, the less juice we have to actually pursue our soul's work. And I think of a desire as soul's work. So I would love to reinforce and remind all of you out there that this is this is an opportunity to spend more time on being the desire, being the love relationship. So in the relationship space, it can be like as simple as how you treat yourself, treating yourself as the beloved, really knowing that you have this, this desire, which is the manifestation, which means that when you treat it like that, treat it like absolutely it's done. I cannot wait to meet my person. I'm so lucky that I have this desire. I'm so lucky I have this person. And start using your words to affirm, I'm so excited that I have this relationship. I'm so excited to know that this person exists on the planet and is mine because specifically too with relationship stuff, when you have a desire for a relationship, the most brilliant thing about that is that it's not a selfish thing. It's not just your thing. The nature of it is that somebody else also has that desire. So don't forget that either. It's like your desire indicates that somebody else also has that desire which means it's not like something where you're just like hoping that maybe someone else has a similar thing or close enough and that maybe you'll bump into each other at a coffee shop or something. No, it's not that at all. It's the more you are committed to that desire as the manifestation here and now, or even knowing it's happening, knowing like, I use a metaphor of a pregnant woman. It's like a pregnant woman is aware, wow, already seeing the baby's room, imagining taking strolls in the park, imagining Christmas with the grandparents, you know, already like living it, you know, living that experience of that baby. That's what a desire is. It's just like that. And you just want to stay in that nurturing space all the time and waver as little as possible. And I want to give you permission to just know that 
if there's anywhere in your body or your being, we can use our little clearing tool. If there's anywhere in your body or your being, so just noticing the energy that's coming up without having to figure it out, that you have decided that you have to, to then be the figure outer person of the creation of your desire, that it may or may not be so that you have to seek out to find out if it actually is possible. Will you destroy and uncreate all of that by saying yes out loud? Just noticing that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we overcomplicate things. We get in the way. We don't let the universe just gift us. And what the universe is asking you to do is to acknowledge, yes, that is my desire. That is part of why I'm here. That is meant to be in the creation space. That's why I am getting this message. That's why I have it. That's not something that you made up. It's not even, even that actually is kind of funny. Like you kind of did. Your imagination is the co-creation, is that voice of the ultimate like creation space, the creative consciousness space. That is for you. So listen and know and and get excited about your desires because your desires are guaranteed when you don't give up and when you don't go into all of the reasons why the universe must be wrong that it gave me that desire so i probably can't have it and there then there's this like this fight with the universe so we talked about healing as being one of those distractors, like, oh, I need more, I need to learn more, or I've got to figure something out, or I can't have it until, like, all of that. That's just one of the many ways I really recommend this book um, that we can go into buying into this, these lies of not being able to create or have what we desire in our life. So if you want more of the good stuff, whatever it is, then I recommend reading this book and continuing to come back, I'm going to continue to share my tips and secrets. So from this one today, know that your desire is the manifestation, period. Notice, no space in between. Desire, it is so, it is done, and it's up to you to be happy and, and begin to celebrate. You can celebrate it as if it's here and really give yourself the space to speak it, to imagine it, to know it, to thank the universe for it, and all of that gratitude, all of that acknowledgement, all of that, you know, excitement and enthusiasm and joy around it is what brings you into the world where it's actualized in front of you. So don't get tricked by the 3D in the meantime. The stuff outside of you right in this moment, honor that desire as a manifestation. So there you go. Don't give up. So glad you're here. I love having you here. It makes me so happy. If this was helpful for you, definitely like and subscribe and share this with your other unicorn friends. This is... Um, I get so inspired by your comments and it's so fun seeing more and more and more people come to this channel. So thank you for, for being here and let me know what your favorite part of this video was below and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. See you soon.